kind of want to watch this this one here most disturbing things caught on ring doorbells by tub it's the latest one it just came out eight days ago i recently discovered tub uh from moist critical actually charlie penguin z0 um thank you charlie <laughs> um yeah this guy looks this guy as content is really good so i wanted to check him out uh tub so let's check out the most disturbing uh things caught on ring doorbells all right guys so the most disturbing things caught on ring doorbells by tuv let's check it out all right let's full screen it all right let's check it out doorbot was created in 2013 by jamie simonoff and he even appeared on an episode of shark tank where he was asking for a deal from the sharks in front of him the idea was a doorbell with a camera on it that allows users to see and speak to anyone standing in front of hmm. the camera simply by using their phone they weren't too <laughs> fond of the idea and he ended up walking out with zero deals the next year the company was renamed to ring and in 2018 was acquired by amazon for approximately one bill what and yet one billion dollars are you fucking kidding me oh my god the guy's rich the guy's rolling in it now yes while this is a story of an underdog who appeared on shark tank this product planted a seed for hundreds of millions of events to be caught on camera and today we'll be talking about the disturbing ones from kidnappings to security breaches oh to jesus carrying weapons to even oh my god is. Today, we'll be talking about the most- I fucking hate clowns. ...on ring cameras. And if you're not subscribed yet, don't even worry about it. I promise I'll earn your subscription by the end of this video. Without further ado, let's get started. Possible kidnapping in Limer Park. This video was captured by a ring doorbell camera on November 12th, 2019. In a clearly desperate call for help, hmm. the woman screams and shouts, help me, somebody help me. Seemingly unsure about what was going on, the homeowner steps out to the front porch and watches from a distance. Soon after, a vehicle, suspected to be a four-door white Prius, zooms past with the woman still calling for help until they're out of earshot. And right at the beginning of the video, a man can be heard saying, I'm sorry, over and over again. This happened in Limer Park, 3800 block of 30 avenue at about 11 p.m and because of the chilling nature of the video and how far it traveled through social media a day later on the 13th the lapd opened up an investigation into a possible kidnapping situation detectives went and canvassed the area an officer mike lopez told the media they couldn't find evidence of a crime but they were still out there for hours going door to door trying to see if any other ring cameras on the block had captured any additional thing about the incident according to their report the woman was only identified as a quote female black with dark braided hair and she was believed to have been in the front passenger seat of the car. The aggressor in the driver's seat was described as a black male. The police also stated that the witnesses saw her hair being pulled backward as she was screaming. Also that there was a plastic wrap over the front passenger side window, most likely from a previous traffic collision. Some of the neighbors who spoke to news crews also added in how terrifying the whole thing had been. Strange though is how nobody from the neighbors to the police had no idea what happened. It wasn't even established to if whether or not she was from the area. The police Police did, however, ask for anyone with any new information about the incident to come forward, but it looks like no one ever did. The only new okay. development in this case was that officers later identified the car, initially suspected to be a Prius, as a Toyota Matrix, a model between the years 2003 and 2008. Actual kidnapping in Fort Worth, Texas. Okay. In 2019, at around 6:30 p.m., actual a kidnapping camera captured this incident where an eight-year-old Salem Sabaka gets kidnapped while out on a walk with her mother. As the homeowner walks out to see what's happening, the camera shows the chilling moment when Sabaka is grabbed. Her mother is thrown onto the ground, and in a clearly desperate try, she attempts to run after the car while begging for help from anyone within earshot. This happened in Fort Worth. That Texas. is terrifying. Oh my God. Imagine your child just gets taken away, dude, and you can do nothing about it. That's so terrifying. I can't even imagine, man. Dude, all the kidnappers are degenerates, dude. They need to be fucking jailed. The fuck is wrong with people? As the authorities were notified, a statewide Amber Alert was issued and an investigation was set up. Then, realizing the gravity of the situation, everyone in the neighborhood was happy to join in on the search, with the police circulating a picture and description of the suspect's vehicle, and also sharing a photo of what Sabaka was wearing on that day, including a short description of her. This collective effort soon paid off, because thankfully, just a few hours later, she was found, and the suspect, 51-year-old Michael That's Webb, good. arrested. Apparently, Jeff King, a local pastor, together with his friend, had spoken to a detective who told him to search parks and hotels first. At around 2.30 a.m., eight hours or so after the kidnapping, King found the car. 
the one the police had shared images of at a nearby hotel, Wood Spring Suites. This was about 10 miles from where Sabaka had been taken. Armed with a new tip from King, Fort Worth police officers immediately sprang into action and rescued the girl. That's good. Sharing footage of the Thank God. They got to her. Luckily, she had been unhurt and got reunited with her family, with lots of accolades, of course, going to King. Now, a mind blowing fact about this case is that just a few hours before King had found the suspect's car parked at the hotel, the police had apparently visited the same hotel, spoke to that man, and had found nothing. And what? Webb got sentenced to how? in prison with no po- How do you find- how do you find absolutely f what? How do you find nothing? Who- how- how much of an idiot do you have to be to find nothing? Are you kidding me? This is how people end up dead, okay? Because they find nothing possibility of parole. It also turned out that he had an extensive criminal history. Look at this freak. 14 crimes that happened either in Smith or Gregg counties since the mid 1980s. Among others, these crimes include burglary, evading arrest, making terror-like threats, and even assaulting a woman using a knife in 2018. Though for that assault crime, he had been let go since the victim failed to show up in court several times. Now, while the girl Sabaka was found, as Richard Vance, a Smith County prosecutor said, it's unimaginable the sort of pain she was put through. Even I know, right? Hours with that random man. That is ridiculous, man. Dude, how, how do, I mean, what goes in people's minds? When they say, oh, I think I'm going to go kidnap this eight-year-old girl. What is going in your mind? How do you get like that? <sighs> I'm wondering if, like, that thing is true where, they people, where people say humans are inherently born evil. I wonder if that's actually true. Makes me ponder about that, you know? I don't know if anybody else ponders about it as well, but makes me... Eight-year-old's ring camera hacked. Oh, Jesus. A nightmare to that is scary. December 2019, a ring camera owned by a Mississippi family captured this video where a strange man hacks into the camera, situated in their daughter's room, and starts taunting her, even encouraging her to do destructive stuff. The first thing that is heard is creepy music. It was Tiny Tim's rendition of Through the Tulips. You know, tiptoe through the tulips. Oh my god, that is a creepy song. I hate that song. Dude, imagine your web my webcam getting hacked, okay? I'm like I'm 27, but imagine if you're like 8 years old and that happens to you. That is actually terrifying. song that's what this dude was playing through the, the kids ring camera he also started playing some banging noises Alyssa LeMay the daughter confused as to where the sound is coming from is seen trying hello communicate shut the fuck up and to look around dude was playing through the kids ring camera he also started playing some banging noises Alyssa LeMay the daughter confused as to where the sound is coming from is seen trying to look around yeah she doesn't know what's going on later explained that coming to the bedroom she thought it was her sister making these strange noises but then that was far from it this is what could be heard coming from the ring speaker that? I'm your best friend I'm Santa Claus I'm, I'm Santa Claus. Don't you want to be my best friend? Terrified, she calls out. What a fucking creep. That guy needs to be put away immediately. I can't believe, I can't believe that. I can't believe that just, I just heard that. What is wrong with people? Oh, who is that? And the guy watching her responds with, I'm your best friend, Santa Claus. This obviously spooks Alyssa even further as she I mean, now yeah. for her mom. The voice continues taunting her about being Santa Claus before trying to get her to do things. Specifically, he said, um, what's the secret word? And then he says, say the N-word with a hard R. So, oh, uh, God. That just tells you the type of kid that fucking hacked into the camera, man. <laughs> you would think... <laughs> Yeah, man, it's just so, it's almost predictable. Yeah, let's, let's, let's keep going. Luckily, before the five minute long ordeal- what the hell is wrong with people? Her, her dad, who had been in the house, intervened, taking off the batteries from the camera. Later explaining the incident to the media, Alyssa's mom, Ashley LeMay, said it had been distressing even watching back the video. She had a gut feeling that the hacker could have been someone who knew the family or was at least very close by. Ashley also admitted that they had not put on two-factor authentication for their account. Ring ended up investigating the situation and confirmed Confirmed that this wasn't a compromise 
on ring security or a data breach. Instead, it was likely the result of a weak password and weak security measures on the family's part. But yeah. You gotta make sure those passwords are like really good. Okay, and enable MF, MFA, man. Enable multi-factor multi -factor authentication. Two-step, bro. You need to do that. And you need, especially if you have a kid with a camera. I mean, come on. You need to, you should have done that first thing. Seriously. If you were listening to this story and were like, oh my God, I have a ring camera. It could get hacked. It's like, no, I mean, just have a good password, have two factor authentication and don't share your passwords, change your password every, I don't know, six months. Yeah. No one's going to hack into your camera and tell you to say the N word or the hard R or tell you they're Santa Claus or something like that. But still, it was a rather unnerving incident, especially for an eight year old girl. Yeah. Imagine like a fucking creep hacks your eight year old daughter's ring camera for some fucking reason. She's probably fucking terrified because she doesn't know what's she doesn't know about technology. She doesn't know what's going on. And there's this random dude who's like my age or whatever saying, I'm Santa Claus. Say the N word with a hard, hard R. Like, what the actual fuck? The hell is wrong with people? Hey guys, tough from the future here. I'm currently sick. I don't know if you could tell. Oh, uh, that's too bad. Actually, no, you can't tell because I'm I'm super cool. But I just want to let you guys know. Make sure to leave a like. This is my reminder. I will, man. For you guys to leave a like, I didn't originally do in the video. I really do appreciate when you guys click the like button. I keep saying that. That's really it. Let's continue with the video. Great video already. Pretend DoorDash. In a very recent disturbing incident, oh, Jesus. In March 2023, a ring camera captured. This is why I don't order Uber Eats or, or anything. Okay. I don't I don't like that kind of stuff. P plus the food it just gets cold and you pay like a bunch of money for uh like five dollars for the delivery fee. And then you're expected to pay a tip. A couple of people attempting to invade a home in Montgomery County by using food delivery as a leeway. As seen here, a woman pretends to be a DoorDash delivery driver and repeatedly knocks on the door of the home, which is located in the Harmony subdivision area. She looks like she's trying to see something on her phone and then goes back to knocking, even attempting to peek inside the house. All this while four people try to break in through the backyard and they can be seen. Oh my god. At some point. Now, fake delivery burglaries are already scary by themselves, but what's really creepy about the situation is that the woman in the video was lingering around the home for about 40 minutes from 1 20 a.m to 2 a.m the person inside the home the homeowner's sister-in-law later told the media that it had been just her and her nephew inside and they even heard the commotion outside while the whole thing was going on she was also able to identify the female suspect as having a large flower tattoo on her right thigh and a floral one on her wrist too this can be seen on the ring camera as well now, while the group apparently caused some damage to the external part of the home, they never managed to get in, and witnesses said they drove off in a dark colored sedan. The homeowner's sister in law also emphasized Look at that these fucks. They didn't take anything, they sure took away the peace and sense of security that had been there before. The incident also left neighbors spooked, particularly because this was set up as a DoorDash delivery. One resident explained that everyone in the area loves using DoorDash. The sentiment there is that there's truly no way of knowing who you're going to open your door to if you're expecting a delivery driver. And even the police recognized that as they had no one should open their door to any delivery service unless they were expecting such a service. The police also mentioned that legitimate DoorDash drivers would have no problem leaving the food outside with no need to open the door. That's a lesson for everybody. Do not open the door to anyone without checking like through the peephole or whatever that's called first. Okay. Don't open the door to anybody. If you have a, a little thing or if you have a window, you got to look. Or a security camera you got to look it's just ridiculous you can't trust anybody okay especially not food delivery people it could be anybody coming up to your door you have no idea scary clown oh right, jesus so okay wait oh my god i have to prepare myself i hate clowns that american horror story episode scared the fuck scared the fuck out of me I'm going to talk about these clowns. I feel like I should mention that this was part of the 2016 clown craze. 2016 oh my God, I remember that. Uh, freshman year in high school. In 2016, I was leaving middle school, entering high school. And I remember this. I remember it clear as day. Y'all, I'm 22, all right? I'm not that old. I'm not old. At 22? I'm, old. I'm 27, bro. I'm not old, bro. Y'all going to call me old. It's because y'all like fucking... You're young, like bro. 15 and shit. Whatever, whatever, whatever. That's not the point. That's not the point. <laughs> hey, all my 20 year olds, let me know in the comments. Y'all watch me because I have faith that I have an older audience. 20 you do. 40 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds. You have an older audience. I'm 27. I'm five years older than you.
And your content is amazing. Thank you, Tuff. Amazing content all the time. I know y'all watch me. Please let me know. Anyway, so basically it was kind of like a trend. It was one of the weirdest trends actually, where people would dress up in these clown costumes. I'm pretty sure it was uh, October 2016 and literally just wait to be taken pictures of or make people run away from them i mean that it was really it it was like it was kind of risky on your end if you want to oh i'm gonna dress up as a clown it's like you you are risking getting beat up by you know someone who wants to impress a group of girls or something yeah so uh that was a 2016 little trend mm -hmm. I mention that Clowns that trend was lovely, stupid but has oh my god this ring camera in toledo ohio oh my god they, or rather pretend clowns can be pretty creepy too this happened back in november of 2016. that is a huge fucking machete that is ridiculous. What the fuck? If I saw that coming up to my door, I'd be like, hell no, I'm getting out my katana. Teen, and as seen in the video, a clown approaches what looks like a front door while donning a zombie-like walking style. Even scarier is that they're carrying something that looks like a machete, which they hold up in full view. Of yeah, that's the ridiculous. The clown walks all the way to the door, peeks around, then rings the bell, and disappears back into the darkness of the night. Not many details are available for this incident, which sort of makes it even creepier. Like I said before, this was hopefully just a random teenager or young adult playing a joke on someone. I would hope it wasn't actually a murderer who's the new clown killer or something now this is just one incident that was captured on camera but i also have another one to show you yes oh boy the clown caught on the ring camera but i would say this is a little creepier because this is just breaking into someone's house with an actual weapon so this one took place in a home in texas it was peeping into windows and trying to open doors the video first appeared on live leak with the original oh my god Oh my god, that is fucking creepy! Oh! Oh my god! Original poster attached in the caption, This morning, I noticed my gate was open. I checked my surveillance cameras and found someone in a clown costume was trying to get into my house. I'm sure we would all be dead today if he was able to get in. This happened at around 2.25 a.m. And just as in the first video, the clown here is carrying a weapon. A knife that is clearly visible to the camera they tried the first door before walking around and trying a different door then a gate dude and then more doors the clips of course spread fast due to its creepy nature and while some dismissed it as a oh my thing, god they reported that it was something that law enforcement was taking seriously given the they need to put a lock on that gate what the fuck there should be a lock there oh my god what if i was just like sitting out here enjoying a beer late at night and this guy just this motherfucker just comes up that's why you always gotta have your katana ready clown menace that had been experienced at the time including where a couple of clowns in greenville county south carolina had tried to lure children into the woods by offering them large sums of money the clown trend what had the begun as sort of a joke but then turned into a whole thing where clowns were chasing people with knives and machetes brandishing guns and other similar jesus things, including hanging around in graveyards and remote roadsides like jesus said, christ before, this has to probably be one of the dumbest trends it's almost like wearing a t-shirt that just says bro Bro be bringing this six inch knife to my house. I'm gonna show him my freaking 52 inch katana, bro. He'd be running. It's at the top or bizarre things. Sure or anything weirder, though less uh disturbing. Let's head on to that one. All right, what well, we got? Fake kidnapping. Fake in kidnapping in Albuquerque. On the night of June 14th, 2022. This video was captured by a ring camera. Initially, people thought what they were seeing was a 10-year-old kid being chased and beaten by a group of adults, but that would all soon change. We'll come back to that, but first, right as the car pulls over, what the fuck the can be heard saying, "I'm only 10." I'm only 10. Times, as they get chased around, and as they run, they can be heard saying, "I have to go home to my parents." That was of course alarming, and the video quickly got shared around. First appearing on Neighbors by Ring which is just rings community app where people can share things that are going on in their community and they can provide their ring footage or they don't have to they could just type out anything either way it's a community app for the community mm. the original poster on neighbors was sort of asking if anyone was missing a 10 year old and stating that they had captured them getting beat. wait so just so i understand ring is like a social media kind of thing for people with door with door cam doorbell cams to share footage of creepy stuff and like weird people I guess that's what's happening here. They could just type out <coughs> anything. Either way, it's a community app for the community. 
The original poster on Neighbors was sort of asking if anyone was missing a 10 year old and stating that they had captured him getting beat by several people in the Coulter and Washington area. Following the uproar, the Albuquerque Police Department got involved and began investigating, starting off by requesting the public for information about the two cars, one, a red or orange hatchback or SUV, and the other, a 1990s black BMW. After that, it wasn't long before they arrested mm -hmm. 31 year old Oh my god. Torres for faking a Look at this f freak. This guy looked like he came out of a 90s emo band. What the hell is wrong? That guy looks like a freak. Kidnapping situation. Yes, what everyone thought was a 10 year old boy was actually a 31 year old woman. Oh, come on. That, oh, it's a woman. Now, that Flores was a wanted person. There were warrants out for her arrest over attempted auto burglaries and an assault against a teenager. These things what? Really happened before what could be seen in the ring video. And even worse, her criminal history was quite extensive, going as far back as 15 years and including things like shoplifting, car theft, drug possession, and aggravated assault. Anyway, what had to Dude, this away? person's a repeat offender. They need to be arrested. I mean, I'm glad she got arrested. Damn. To the police. Well, a witness that saw the video told the police that they knew Flores and they were pretty confident that was her in the video. Now, in addition uh -oh. to all of that, and maybe justifiably, the police received quite some heat for their slow response to the whole thing. <sighs> Well, David Davidson, the guy who called 911 about it, and also complained that help didn't come until after several hours, didn't know that what he was watching on his ring camera wasn't a real 10-year-old in danger. To him, it was just a case of the Albuquerque Police Department refusing to prioritize a case involving a child screaming at the top of their lungs. A pretty bizarre incident overall. I mean, why would you fake this? What, what would bring you to think that, oh, this is a good idea to fake this? Like, oh, we should, we should fake this. This is going to be a good idea. And then somebody points you out because they know you and then you get arrested. What a bunch of fucking idiots. Vintage TV sets. There was a time when a neighbor. Oh my God. Member, Jim, what is that? The center of a peculiar and honestly kind of funny ordeal. As captured in this ring. Camp that is video, kind of funny. A man is seen walking up to a porch and leaving an old TV. All hey, bro. While, he's wearing a TV. Bro, I'd take that. Give me an old TV. I'm going to play some Smash Bros. Melee on that. And my, I got a PS1. We could play some stuff. Dude, that's awesome. Get a free CRT, bro. ...on his head, and it's clear that he can see through it as he's able to walk up and down the steps leading to the porch. He places the TV down, then walks out, and disappears into the night. That's Wearing awesome. ...blue attire, which looks like a uniform. He did the same thing across several homes in the neighborhood. He waves to the ring camera. This also means that he for sure knew he was getting recorded by different cameras all over people's doors, but wasn't phased by that at all. Now, while leaving just one or two TV sets, could have been pretty funny. <laughs> this guy went the extra mile, and within about a week, uh, he left about 60 TVs on oh my god homes. this caused a lot of confusion among the residents of the gray oak subdivision that's a little creepy Allen neighborhood one neighbor robin shore who received a toshiba fst black stripe tv made back in 1986 did for instance think that amazon had just gotten lazy with their delivery to her husband she thought her husband ordered a tv online and they just didn't bother to properly box it however through the neighborhood online group she soon realized dude why would you like think that somebody would order a tv from amazon on that was made in 1980s <laughs> unless he's like a super old og gamer then i don't think he would order that home wasn't the only one with such a tv and unsure about what was going on the speculation became that those tv sets were trojan horses that could cause ah. some sort of harm if allowed into the home yeah that's some creepy to open them up and check if anything fishy was going on <clears throat> anyway soon the police got involved and confiscated almost all of the was anything weird inside However, without one knowing who this man was and two not knowing a clear motivation they couldn't charge him with any criminal of offenses was there anything the inside the tv giving out old tvs while wearing a tv on his head just really um i guess i guess there was no motive there was no he was just given tvs bro i mean dude i want that tv give me that t i got a i got a ps2 and a ps1 and um i got a sega plug and play and we got a you know we got some smash bros bro we need that i need i actually want that <laughs> a funny weird it is funny I wouldn't consider that most disturbing things. He maybe you can put like that in the a different video for like the fun the most wholesome thing. <laughs> Incident. The three hour doorbell list. Ring doorbells capture a lot, but probably top among the most disturbing oh my God. is this one. This is a video from Salinas, California, where a man was captured licking a doorbell for an entire three hours. As clearly seen in the shared- What? Dude. 
Do you know how dirty a doorbell is? A lot of people touch that thing, and you know people don't wash their fucking hands. The man, later identified as Roberto Daniel Arroyo, simply leans on the wall and sort of slithers his tongue on the doorbell. That is weird. Directly at the ring camera in front of him. You know people don't wash their hands, right? Owner, Sylvia Dungan. People are fucking disgusting. They don't wash their hands. I've literally been into the men's bathroom in Japan here. They go to the bathroom. They go to the sink. Some of them don't even go to the sink. They just walk out. It's disgusting. And if they do go to the sink and actually turn on the water, they do one of these things. I call it the, the two finger wash. It's like, shoo, they're like, choo, 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 and then they go. It's just one hand too. It's not even both hands. They think that's cleans them. Ridiculous. That's fucking disgusting. Again, said that the man was uh, relieving himself. She also said that she what? wasn't home at the time, but her kids were. The family what do you mean relieving themselves? The security system and being a modern one, it had the feature to notify them when someone was around the front porch. So on that Saturday, while her kids were not woken up by the noises, Duncan said she got a lot of notifications about someone being at the door, which was weird because it was about five in the morning and the only person who could have been there, her son, who probably had worked night shifts, never used to get home until six in the morning. All that prompted her to go on and check the footage. From so the who morning. is this weirdo? That's of course, when she saw the bizarre our incident. She also didn't think the incident really caused any harm, despite <laughs> despite it being incredibly weird. She admitted that they kind of laughed about it afterward, as Arroyo, the guy, didn't break anything or harm anybody. They did, however, thoroughly clean the doorbell after. Uh, yeah. Now, according to Miguel Cabrera, I would. The Selena's police spokesperson, the department was pleasantly surprised at how clear the image quality was on the ring camera, so it didn't take long to identify the culprit. He went on to be charged with petty theft and prowling. Overall, a very strange thing to be captured on a security Camp. That is weird. Now, the incident that I just described happened in January of 2019, and it seems like he inspired someone. Because oh God! Later, it became a trend. It became a trend, didn't it? It became a fucking trend. Please tell me I'm wrong. By another <laughs> ring camera. So this is yet another man. <sighs> Next time, it was at a home in Lake Worth, Florida. This happened at around 6 a.m. And as can be seen in the video, oh my God, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see your nostril hairs, okay? That's fucking disgusting. Man leans over several times licking the doorbell camera and then starts pointing at different sections of what looks like a newspaper that he's holding. According to the homeowner who had been in bed at the time, she got a notification on her iPad that someone was at the front door and that's how she ended up checking to see what was going on. In a surprising twist though, while the man's behavior was strange, he wasn't a stranger to the neighborhood. The homeowner huh? apparently recognized the man because he used to live there in the neighborhood before becoming homeless. He was apparently said to have been suffering from some mental health problems. Oh, Edgar Morley, that's too bad. Public information officer also added that this man was someone encountered by the police, quote, on a frequent basis. When questioned, he admitted to having been at the residence and said that the owners were his friends. He thus never got charged with anything, although that could also be because, according to Morley, the public information officer, Florida, while a weird place, doesn't have any doorbell licking laws. And as for the homeowner, they thought it was a really good investment because. Why would you have a doorbell? I mean. <laughs> Why? I can't believe I'm asking this, but why would you have a doorbell licking law? Because <laughs> you're obviously, you're no, you won't have one of those because you don't expect people to lick doorbells like fucking weirdos. Never know who may be licking your doorbell. So if you guys are considering buying a ring camera, don't buy it for your safety or your protection or your privacy. Ew, who cares about that? Try to get one in order to catch people licking your doorbell. Let's head on to the next one. Man just keeps wow. showing up. Showing up at someone's house carrying a <laughs> what the fuck? Definitely scary, but so is simply being a creep and non-stop showing up at a random person's house, especially pretending to be your part of social services. This is something that was captured by a ring camera in Sacramento, California, where a man showed up at a home several times, including at night, claiming to be from social services and demanding to be let in. In one of the videos, he can clearly be heard saying he's with social services, while in another, he claims that he can hear a child crying, a baby. Social services claiming he's from social services yeah, on social services. and asking the homeowner to let him come check on children Oops. inside the home. You know, I hear it. All that to be allowed to come in. In one of the videos, the one inside. 
I can be heard telling him to leave and notifying him that she's calling the cops. Now, more detailed reports of this incident indicated just how weird and scary the situation was. For instance, the man had come to the home about four times in just a few prior weeks. Then, all these times, it had been just a woman and her four kids inside, as the woman's husband would be away. Also, all these four times, the woman had apparently called 911, and while the police responded, the man had not been arrested or even issued a citation. According to her, it seemed like the man knew she was alone in the house and had no way of protecting herself. That's also, weird. Strangely, when asked by a reporter why he kept going over to the woman's house, the man just said that he never intended to irritate them, but rather to see if they were okay. This was of course despite the police warning him not to do so. Anyway, commenting on the situation, Mark Reichel, an attorney in Sacramento, told the media that the man indeed was breaking state law around harassment, and in any case the woman filed a civil harassment order, a judge would grant it. The justification would be that his creepy behavior was repeated annoyance and disturbing her, mm -hmm. and it was also a pattern that was predictable. Yeah, that's weird. I don't want him to keep coming to my house. Police chase in Portsmouth. Oh boy, we got a police chase, boys. Doorbell in the Columbia Street area of Portsmouth captured this video of an active police chase. Right at the beginning of the video, you can see a gray pickup truck rush by, then a black one follows, then a gray crossover, and finally a full-size SUV. All this is before the homeowner then steps out to check what's going on. Of course, the first vehicle is the suspect, and the rest were officers from the fugitive unit of Chesapeake Sheriff's Department, who had apparently been on the lookout for the suspect for crimes done a day prior. It turns out that the whole thing had begun when the police got calls about a suspicious male that was apparently checking car windows. When they arrived at the scene and tried to stop him in an arguably dangerous move, he fired at them and took off. The officers had not fired back, and luckily no one got injured. An investigation was then quickly set up and it uncovered that the suspect was 31-year-old Harold Crowder, a resident of Chesapeake. Now, this first incident where Crowder fired at officers had occurred at about 9.51 p.m. and prompted an active search for him. This was fruitful because the next day, in a second incident, at about 2.21 p.m. in the Deep Creek Boulevard area of Portsmouth, police saw him in the same Toyota Tundra truck that he'd been driving the day before. That's actually when a chase began mm. with Crowder hitting and damaging a vehicle in the process but still refusing to stop. He eventually got caught after crashing the tundra which was stolen at the 3900 block in columbia street in portsmouth he also did try to flee on foot after that but the police quickly caught him so uh. this ring video of him zooming past the house simply captured the near end bit of the chase what's also interesting is that according to mike van rom the homeowner he'd been watching tv when he heard a commotion outside and got up to check it out after seeing what just happened he immediately felt thankful not only because crowder was caught but also because he hadn't hit his car in the process oh yeah dude to him, i'd be would have it. i'd be so fucking pissed if a random some random dude just hits my car parked in the parking spot because they're running from the police i'd be so fucking pissed he had parked the car closer to his house than usual he'd often park further down the driveway where crowder zoomed past wreath thieves uh oh it's the got the wreath thieves <laughs> cameras all over the place oh my god sometimes seem undeterred that can be seen in this video where a woman is seen taking off with a wreath from a house in the alamo heights community in texas she simply takes it off the door almost carefully what the not damage it, she just steals the wreath to a waiting car the fuck the car drives away according to the home who spoke to the media this happened at around 2 20 in the morning and they immediately took action reporting it to the police and having it circulated on several neighborhood blogs the wreath was apparently valued at 300 dollars and interestingly Three. it was part of an annual tradition i'm sorry but if you're if you're paying 300 dollars for a wreath there's something wrong with you i can make a wreath myself for no dollars why would you pay 300 dollars for a fucking christmas wreath the hell is wrong with you that the community has in the fall season where the neighbors go all out with elaborate decorations to bring the spooky spirits to their homes. Now, it seems wreaths are kind of a hot commodity to steal because in 2021, in a very similar video, similar in terms of sheer boldness, a similar event surfaced on the internet. A ring camera captured a woman stealing a wreath from her neighbor and then topping it off by stealing a mat from a different neighbor. Woman rings bells, then vanishes. All right, so I wrote camera captured a woman stealing a wreath from her neighbor and then topping it off by stealing a map from a different neighbor oh my god steal a map bro what the hell bells then vanishes okay all right so just a ding door ditch i guess this video i think it was the wait what did i say that right a ding ding dong oh is it in a ding dong ding dong ditch that's what it was not ding door ditch <laughs> TV footage video I made like maybe last year or two years ago, but I'll still speak about this story again just to get it out there and hopefully remind people that cases like this exist.
On August 23rd, 2018, at around 3.30 a.m., a half-naked woman wearing just a t-shirt went around homes in the Sunrise Ranch subdivision area of Montgomery County ringing doorbells. As seen in this video from one of the ring cameras, she walks up to the door and rings the bell, seeming like she's in need of help. She apparently did that to a couple of other homes and due to the confusion that this caused, the heck? no neighbor properly identified her, an investigation got launched with lots of people from other areas across the country trying to send in missing person posters, hoping that it was someone they had been looking for. Going back to the video, it's clear she has some sort of hand restraints hanging from her wrist. The assumption had been that these were regular handcuffs, but they were later confirmed to be handcuffs for adult play. Now, initially, oh Jesus! Unidentified. Yeah, I thought at first it was it was like she was like running from the police, like she got away from the the handcuffs. But nope, it's just uh, some weird play. It seemed like she just vanished into thin air. But that was until deputies found 49-year-old Dennis Ray Collins dead in his house. What? This was a couple of days later after the woman had been seen on the ring videos, and it turned out that she was connected to Collins. Officers said that inside the home, they found items that matched what could be seen in the doorbell videos, and through that, they were able to locate her and get in touch. In short, what had happened was that Collins had threatened to commit uh, he may have contacted his ex-girlfriend. This ex-girlfriend then requested a welfare check on him, but by the time deputies had gotten there, it was too late. Oh, uh, man. The woman in the video. That's too bad. She was seeking help due to domestic violence, as that was a stance by the police. Specifically, they believe she had been unlawfully restrained and sexually assaulted by Collins. Inside Collins' Jesus. Home, was a suicide note that connected the woman to him, further solidifying their theory. Now, her story was that she broke free from Collins, rang about two doorbells, then returned home before driving to a relative in Dallas Fort Worth this is where she was when police had contacted her anyway this is overall a very disturbing incident that is disturbing considering that Collins had a prior criminal history having been convicted of sexual into oh my god she got probation interestingly the sheriff's office said that based on the ring video their intention had been to investigate him for kidnapping unlawful restraints and sexual assault. my god what is wrong with people man intention had been to investigate him for kidnapping unlawful restraints and sexual assault man followed home being oh followed jesus home that is a that is a nightmare fuel being followed home by some fucking creep that's just dude that's a nightmare man never want to be followed home by some weirdo why is my why is my webcam some kind sometimes stuttering is that i don't know what's wrong with that like the video is fine the gameplay is always fine but sometimes the webcam stutters i don't know if it's because of my uh graphics card or what i have to look it up i have no idea what's going on oh well a traumatizing experience but when a gun is involved this escalates a whole lot more on july 15th 2022 oh my god at a home in wheat ridge colorado captured such an incident where a man is seen approaching the home with a drawn gun before fleeting it turns out that the two suspects in the video the male with the gun and the the woman behind him had followed the couple as they were walking home and did so all the way to their front door. The male suspect had suddenly drawn the gun and pointed it at their faces. But Jesus. The to react as they just quickly got in their home and slammed the door shut. In the video, this is where you can see the suspects retreat back to the silver SUV that was waiting and take off. Definitely a really close shave with even the Wheat Ridge Police Department stating that there was no knowing what might have happened had the couple not closed the door. Now even Right? Later, Jesus Christ. Later, that same suspect actually robbed someone else. Oh my god. His vehicle just about half a mile from the first incident. The hell is wrong with this guy? Place at the scene and the suspects were still wearing the wigs or costumes, whatever they were wearing. And luckily, even with this attempted disguise, the police said that the suspects' faces could clearly be seen and it was only a matter of time before they got apprehended. This was back in 2022 though and and there hasn't really been an update on the situation for context there probably was an update but but people just didn't update the internet about it now in a very similar incident about two years earlier in 2020 to be exact in the reynolds walk neighborhood of north carolina a ring camera captured a moment when suspects two men had been hiding near a home and tried to break in after following a woman whoa she had arrived home with her kids first with her sister being expected to also arrive after a while when she did the homeowner went to let her inside the front door and a split second after the door was shut behind her the camera recorded a man in a red jacket trying to force his way in and he that is insane what the fuck oh my god that is dude you need pepper spray for that for those kind of moments man
An even scarier part is that neither the homeowner nor the sister had been aware of what was going on until they heard sounds they described as boom, boom, boom. They immediately went upstairs to check the cameras, and that's when they saw two men with a gun outside. From the footage, oh my god, noticing that he couldn't get in, the man takes off shouting, I got locked out, several times to his accomplice. The Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department was notified with the homeowner admitting that maybe if they hadn't locked the door in time, she and her children could have probably died that night. One man appears to drop something in the front yard, then rush back to pick it up. These degenerates need to be locked away, man. Fuck these guys. So we all know Florida is full of Florida men. So in 2018. Oh my god, wait, I have heard about this. Man with a rifle at 4 a.m. I've heard this story. This is insane area a ring camera captured this clip of a man ringing what turned out to be a neighbor's doorbell in the dead of the night the man who it's clearly visible that he's carrying an assault rifle and jesus best sort of staggers into the front porch that guy's before coming all the way up to the doorbell and ringing it he then immediately walks away and disappears into the night that guy's now, geared up a really scary incident and according to the homeowner she and her Visible that he's carrying an assault rifle and wearing a bulletproof <coughs> vest, sort of staggers into the front porch of the home before coming all the way up to the doorbell and ringing it. He then immediately walks away and disappears into the night. Now, this is obviously a really scary incident, and according to the homeowner, she and her two children hid in the bathroom once they saw the man on the security camera. Her husband wasn't home at the time, he was away on a business trip. The woman thus called her husband and the police, and it took about 25 minutes for the police to arrive. And for what he did, the man faced aggravated assault charges. It also came up. Mm. That the man's daughter had recently stayed at that house because she was afraid of her father. So it seems like the families knew each other. What the fuck? Porch for six hours. Hanging on his porch for six hours may not be as bad as uh, licking someone's doorbell for three hours. <laughs> but it's definitely creepy. This is exactly what was recorded by a ring camera at an Albuquerque, New Mexico home in April of 2020. The video shows a man lingering on the porch, pacing around, smoking what looks like a cigarette, lurking by the garage, and even stranger, dropping his pants, slightly exposing his butt to the camera. According to the homeowner, Maris Lopez, her family had not the seen hell? the whole thing happen until the next day when she was clearing videos from the doorbell camera. She was shocked to see that the man had arrived around midnight, walked through the front yard gravel rather than the paved path, and simply said, camp at her porch with his backpack the man had apparently not left until around 6 a.m which is when the family woke up and turned on the light lopez it could be just like a homeless guy that found this area and wanted to camp out for the night or something it was like 12 a.m to 6 a.m six hours right it's probably what he just did he probably just i don't know we'll see what he says the homeowner, when talking to the media, said that while there was no interaction with the man, she felt disturbed, especially given he had at one point peeked into her son's bedroom, terrified. Okay. What are the matters? Of the Wait house? a second. Now that's fucking weird. That is that draws a line. Creeping in, uh, peeping into the son's bedroom. You've got to be fucking kidding me. That's ridiculous. What the hell is wrong with people? Albuquerque Police Department and shared her experience on social media. This is when she also learned that the man had apparently been seen around the area knocking on doors and looking around. Anyway, in an effort to prevent the same disturbing thing from repeating, she resorted to stacking the stairs on her porch, something she thought she'd never do as she lived in a pretty good neighborhood. Stacking this- wait, what does that mean? To prevent the same disturbing thing from repeating, she resorted to stacking the stairs on her porch. Oh, sta oh, he made a mistake. Uh, stacking the chairs on her porch. Okay, I see. I see what he. Okay. Something she thought she'd never do as she lived in a Dude. neighborhood. Rattles. You can't trust. You can't trust. You can't trust any neighborhood, man. Just because it's like a good neighborhood doesn't mean it's a good neighborhood. Just because people say it's a good neighborhood doesn't mean it's a good neighborhood. You shouldn't trust that. Always be alert. Well, this could be disturbing or not, depending on your fear of snakes. But it looks like snakes, especially rattlesnakes, have a thing for doorbells. In 2018, a ring what? camera- What? Oh my god! Belonging to Allison Keller captured this video, where a snake can be seen hanging on the- Oh my god, imagine. Imagine a snake, a poisonous, venomous snake, just on your fucking doorbell. You can't get in your house or out, get out of it. 
door by the camera and slithering around. This was around 2 a.m. at night, and she'd apparently gotten an alert from the camera that someone was at her door. She wasn't ready for what she then saw. Other incidents include this video from 2023, where a homeowner named Bobby, in a very similar way as Keller's video, received a notification about someone oh my God. at the door in the dead of the night, only to look and see a snake slithering around the doorbell. He admitted that he was thankful for the camera, because if he had walked out and- The snake's probably just like, bruh, this is pretty cool. I like this area. Let me camp out here. <laughs> He's probably just like chilling. In the snake, he might have gotten a heart attack. And just for good measure, here is yet another uninvited snake on the doorbell at night. This is from 2019. Man, snakes are bad, dude. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. <laughs> Amazing video. A like on it. Actually, please click the like button. Do it. I will. I'm uh, clicking it right now, Tuff. Here you go, boy. All I'm saying is, uh, you should probably subscribe. Here you go, buddy. Next time I'm grinding on YouTube again. Make sure to go check boy. out. Boy, here you go, boy. The trailer for Two Gay Cats. Like. Yes, the show I said I was working on last year. I've been working on it for a year now. Oh, you're working on a show? That's pretty cool. Now, but I have a cartoon coming out called Two Gay Cats. It's over on my second channel. But this is the end of the video where the watch time drops off horrendously. So I gotta say bye quick. Goodbye, guys. I'll see you guys. I'm not time. dropped off. I didn't drop off. Also, guys, dude, subscribe. Subscribe to Tuv. He's amazing. And like the video. I'll link it in the description. But that was the most disturbing things caught on ring doorbells. What a what a uh, what a banger video, man. Amazing, amazing video.